Hello and welcome to Terry's Tesla. Today we're going to take a look at an update to the Sentry View app that allows you to view your dash cam and Sentry Mode videos right on your phone without having to leave the car. Let's check it out. Okay, the Century View app is actually not new. Um, when it initially came out, I, I reviewed it. You can find a video on my YouTube for it. But what it was limited to was the very specific thumb drive that it worked with. It only worked with the SanDisk Wireless Connect, um, which is a wireless thumb drive by SanDisk. And actually, they've even discontinued the thumb drive. So it was expensive trying to find them, so forth and so on. Um, and, and the beauty of it is the app allows you to view your dash cam and sentry mode um, videos in a very nice, easy to use interface. And you basically would turn on the thumb drive, let it spin up its Wi-Fi, and then you would connect to it via the sentry view app. And you could just wirelessly watch your videos in a nice three up player right on your phone or your iPad or your whatever iOS device you want. And while it did work, the problem was it was just slow. The performance of Wi-Fi from your phone to watch three videos at the same time, there was a lot of buffering. It just wasn't the best performance in the world. So luckily, the developer, who I've uh, been beta testing this version of the app for, has come out with an update that just dropped right before I recorded this uh, that also supports the SanDisk iExpand. Now, what's the iExpand and how is it different? Well, it has standard USB on one side and a lightning connector on the other side. And I reviewed this before too. Now, you've got the best thumb drive for this and the best app together, because they can work together. So let's take a look at the process and how it works. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to safely eject the thumb drive so that it, we don't corrupt any video that it's currently recording. And as you can see, we've got the red indicator light on the dash cam, meaning that it's recording right now. So what we want to do is to safely unmount the drive and stop the recording. We're just going to hold that icon down and press for a couple seconds. It'll flash right under your finger. That's how you know it did it, and then the red dot will go away. That way we know it's no longer recording. Now you can safely remove the thumb drive from your USB port. All right, so let's take it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove this door and my accessory tray that I got here. I've reviewed this too. And underneath my Nomad wireless chargers, you will find the USB port. So I've got two thumb drives in here already. I've got one for music, that's another SanDisk uh, drive, different brand or different model, and I've got the SanDisk iExpand. So now I can take the SanDisk iExpand out. And by the way, just a bonus tip, I recommend having multiples of these. That way, when you take one out, and maybe you do want to take it home and review it, uh, you know, at your at your leisure. You can put one right back in so it can start recording. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my spare one right back in or my alternating one. All right. So now that I've put the spare one back in, uh, the dash cam icon will pop back up. And again, don't forget, you, you've got to manually start it again as well. So we're going to go ahead and just press one time. On the icon and that should give us the red dot letting us know that the recording has started again so I've got it here in my hand um, of course I can put the tray back in and we can close that cover all right so I've got the uh, SanDisk iExpand that I just took out I've got my iPhone here I'm gonna go to where I keep my Century View app in a folder and there it is we'll go ahead and fire up the app and it said failed. It cannot find anything because the drive is not plugged in. So let's go ahead and plug that in to the lightning port on the bottom there. 
And now it's going to pop up with a message first that says, hey, do you want to allow the iExpand drive to communicate with the app for it? I'm going to say, no, ignore it, because I've got an app that I'm going to use with it. And this app is called Century View. So now I can either look at recent clips by the timeline. So there's the one of me just pulling out of the garage there. I could play those or I can go to my saved clips. And my saved clips will be where really all the action's happening. That's where um, we've got the ability to look at any Century View apps, any dash cam clips that you've saved. And again, the best part is that you can play these in real time. No buffering, no waiting. We get to see it. Now, he's also done some, a few other nice things in the app itself. First and foremost, you can switch between your recent and saved clips. You can go to any date you want. You can go to any timestamp you want. So if I want to go to a different timestamp, it'll show me that timestamp. And then I can just go hit play and it will show me those videos as well. Awesome performance. As you can see, there's no waiting. It's just instant real-time playback. Now, another thing that they've done or he's done as the developer in the upper right-hand corner, it will show me the percentage of the drive that's used or how much space I have left because I have filled up a drive before. So it's nice that I can see that right off the bat. And any clips that you don't need, for example, let's say you reviewed a clip, you can uh, just long press, here I'll play this one. And let's say I don't need this one anymore, although I may need that one. Let's go to a different day. Let's just pick a different set here. All right, yeah, I don't need these, this is just, Sentry mode parked uh, where all well, the cars parked and I know that nothing happened in this particular day So if I don't need that clip I can actually pause it and then long press on the date and it will trash that whole folder that whole uh, Well, yeah that whole day in this case uh, Of clips if I don't need that date and those will go to the trash and you have now 11 clips in the trash that I can undelete the same way with a long press so great to be able to use Sentry View to view your dash cam and your Sentry View clips right there on the spot. You don't need a computer. You don't need to take it, take it into the house. You don't need a desktop. You don't need to look at each individual file separately. Uh, the ability to just go ahead and again, we can even scrub through the video just like this. Go to a more interesting spot or exactly what you're trying to find. So when you get back to your car and it says, hey, there were two or three Sentry uh, mode events, you don't have to sit there and go through video after video after video trying to find out what happened. You can go straight to the date, straight to the date or time range of where you were at that time and go and play those videos. So again, this looks like Sentry view video uh, at night while the car was parked and again, I can just quickly scrub through if I see something interesting, uh, then I can stop at that point and watch it. So if I thought somebody messed with my car, I can jump right to it. So kudos to the developers of the Sentry View app. It is now my favorite way to view my dash cam and my Sentry View videos. Um, plug right into my iPhone. Uh, and again, these I'll put the link for the SanDisk iExpand in the video as well as the link to get the Sentry View app, which all you have to do is just go to the App Store and search for Sentry View and you'll be able to find it. It is a, uh, the app is not free, but it is worth every penny of what he charges for it. All right, so with that said, thanks for watching, cheers, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye everybody.